and I've got it. Okay, all that digging. Okay, folks. So I'm in my office away from home, and um, just go over some notes here. Everyone that's watching, Carl, how you doing? Ken's, what's up, Ken? Ken's out. Cordell, what up? Terrence, what's going on? Andrew, how you feeling tomorrow? Uh, Gardner, what's going on, family? How you feeling? Um, so, wanted to talk to you guys about um, Cornerstone Church. Just taking some notes. Talking points. So, listen, folks. Sir Major here, the Minister of Justice, always fighting for justice uh, for the voiceless. Uh, those of you who uh, feel as if you don't have a voice, or that your voice is not yet big enough, or those of you who feel like no one's going to listen to you, um, I've been contacted uh, by several uh, individuals who have made allegations of sexual harassment, uh, sexual assault, uh, by members of the Cornerstone Church. Members of the Cornerstone Church. And one of the people who has been identified as one of the offenders, his name is Matt Razor. It's M-A-T-T, -T, Razor, R-A-S-O-R. His full name is Matthew D. Razor. And Matthew served uh, with this church, Cornerstone, as the chief financial officer. Um, and over the years, um, it has been alleged that Matthews had sexually assaulted uh, and groomed and coerced men, young boys, um, into having sex. It has also been alleged that Matthew D. Razor has given date rape drugs to his victims. Um, it has also been alleged that one of the individuals was 16 at the time of the sexual assault. Now, recently, the Perrysburg Police Department conducted a, uh, an investigation. Uh, witnesses and uh, victims have gone forth with their versions or accounts as to what happened, and the Perrysburg Police Department decided not to, at this time, press any charges. Um, and when I did my analysis on the uh, on, on the matter, spoke to several different victims, different uh, folks with different allegations, and I'm still conducting. But what I wanted to do is put this call for action out there. If you or anyone you know have been sexually assaulted by a member of the Cornerstone Church or its leadership, or if you brought concerns or have brought sexual assault or sexual harassment accusations um, or allegations to the leadership of the church, and your voice was ignored by bishop or pastor, uh, Michael Pitts, uh, or Phil, or Meredith, his wife, who are the, the leaders of the church now, um, certainly we want to hear from you. And I would encourage you to email me as soon as possible because we have retained an attorney uh, willing to investigate this case, because first all claims must be investigated. And then certainly we want to uh, get you justice, get you the justice that you deserve. So many of you guys know that I'm not an attorney. However, I work for some of the best attorneys in the country. And what I would tell you is that this is something that we do not take lightly. Every allegation must be properly vetted and investigated. Uh, if there's any truth to any of these allegations, then certainly folks, if not, all parties will be investigated and um, they'll be held accountable. So uh, to the victims of the Cornerstone Church, your voices are not being ignored. They will not be silenced. And now one thing that I can assure you is that I'm going to do everything in my power to ensure that you are lifted up, to ensure that the offenders are held accountable. All right. So given that, if you have been a victim or anyone you know that is a victim, speak out. Now is the chance. Now is the time. You don't oh, have dude. to be afraid anymore. We are going to work with you. We're going to be zealous in this. Now, every case is treated differently. Every story, every account is different. But we'll rest assured that the firm that I'm working with 
is going to ensure that your information is going to be confidential. We're going to protect you, and we're going to get you the justice that you deserve. If you are a victim, please email me at sirmajor at sirmajorforthepeople.com. That's sirmajor at sirmajorforthepeople.com. That's S-I-R-M-A-E-J-O-R at sirmajorforthepeople.com. Thank you.